Hi! Today I'm going to show you how I trim this little mixed breeds head uh, around. Now he gets very excited when I speak, so I'm hoping he'll stay still. Now he's all combed out, washed, and fluff dried. Don't stay still, honey. So just make sure all the knots are combed out because you don't want to snag one or, you know, you want to do a nice job on the finished work. So I just get my, um, my trimmers, I put it on a number 10, and I do very, very lightly. I do right by the corners of the eyes. I mean, you can use the thin-in shears there, but I'm just going to do it very lightly. I don't dig deep, and I don't uh, go across the nose there. Oh, just one little line there. I'll show you. So, just right in there, like that. Okay, so now that that's done, what I like to do is I like to use my curved shear. So I usually, yeah, see this hair hanging by the eyes? I usually cut that. You want to turn your shears around like I just did to get the hair on the, there, by the corner of the eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to get this other corner. Okay. So I like to cut just um, below the the corn, the outside corner of the eye. And I'm just going to trim right above the nose bridge there, just to get that hair off, so we can see his eyes. Okay, so I like to start with the top knot first. It's got a lot of hair. I'm going to do it short. So get in the eyes as much as you can there. There. And what I like to do is to make sure the dog is looking down a little bit. And then you just want to start with your forehead there. Don't go too close in because you know, won't look good afterwards. Just put it on a 45 degree angle, like facing downwards. So I like to get that, you see from the side. And then, I go from the top. So when you're trying to get your shape, um, you can just do a little bit at a time. You don't have to, um, you know, cut one time and then that's it. So. You can just do trim an overall, a lot of combing, and you'll see all the stick ups, and then just reshape the head as you um, need to. So I'm just right in front of his face. I'm standing right behind the camera. So it's best if they look at you when you're doing this. And I see a hair right there. So then always get your comb. Now he had a lot of knots at the back there, so I'll be going back there to fix fix that up. What a good boy. Oh, I don't want to talk silly to him because he'll just go he'll just go all wild on me. There, so I got a little bit smaller. So I got my curves, which helps a lot, because you're just going in circles here, and the scissors are helping you make that circle. There, and once you think you got your top knot ready, it's time to move on to the face. And what I do is I start here with the chin. The curves are great when you're doing this piece here. So you want to lift up the ear and you're going to match it up, up to there. And 
product to get off the hair right in front of the ear canal so the ear can breathe. Now, you did have some knots, so it's going to be a little bit of holes here and there, which I can't really fix if they're big holes. Okay, so I'm just going to take my curves this way and work my way around the face and down here. Have a look at that. So with the face, or then the muzzle here, I like to comb everything up. Now there is another style called Asian style where you leave a big, you know, lot of hair on top of the nose. Well, this dog is not getting that, so I'm just cutting it short. It doesn't come often enough to have that kind of haircut and it covers the eyes. It's okay, it's okay. It's getting there. Comb everything forward and just trim out the, the parts that stick out there. And the little hair in front of the little lip, just, just go around, work your way up. So I'm leaving a little bit of fuzz on top of the nose. Sorry, the hair there. And get my comb again. Okay, now I can see it's not even. Try not to make it egg shape. I try to make it round. And sometimes it's hard to see a white dog on a like a light background. There. Okay, let me move your ear up. There. I'm gonna get all this hair off of that ear. That's where the knot was. <sighs> Looks nicer that way. Let's check this ear. Yeah, all that hair. I'm going to cut it off. It always gets knotted anyway, so don't need to let it grow. All right, I think we're pretty much there. So see this hair right here, if your customers complain that the hair goes in their eyes from the nose, just it's just comb it like toward the eye because some dogs they when they sleep, you know, they wake up and their hair is like sticking up like this. So if you comb it the way that it looks like when they wake up, you can just cut this off and that way there won't be any stick ups when the dog messes up the face. Yeah, so comb it upwards and toward the eye. And it also gives a layer effect on the nose. Okay, your ear's bent. Sometimes they have a, like a, a cartilage problem where the ear doesn't fall flat, it bends. So that's why the ear looks a little bit out of place. There. 
Okay, so almost come on to the, the very end. This is when you do your final touch up. Just go around and round and round and look for any stick ups. And then you're ready, ready to be finished. And you're ready, to, you're all done. There, I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I'm sorry. And one trick I like to do is take a picture of them. We take a picture, you'll look at the picture and you'll see where it's crooked or where it's sticking up. Always works for me because you keep on staring at the dog where you're trimming and it looks good that you take a picture like, oh, I missed a spot here, missed a spot there. So that's what I do. I'm sure I missed a spot, you can probably see. <laughs> Anyways, that's how I do my little round heads. And then you can get your thinning shears just to soften up any lines that you've made uh, with this with the shears. It makes it look really nice and, and just blends everything in. Just go over the areas that you cut. You can do the top knot that way if you like. But I find it makes it makes it look soft and nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come here. You're very, very cute. Yes, you're so cute. You're a good model. Mm-hmm. Now, I look through the camera. <laughs> it looks okay to me. Well, I hope I helped you anyways if you're having trouble with heads. and um, You like my video. If you like my video, just give me a thumbs up and let me know. You can comment if you like. And if there's anything you want to see, uh, let me know and I'll try my best to make a video for you. There we go. Let me see. How's it look? Maybe right here. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. See, every cute, what a good doggie. You're so cute. You are.